item is item number 47. The one that we left, which is. Port Levy. Sorry? Removal of batch Port Levy. Further advice? We're going to 5.30. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, okay, so now I questions. Question. I had Pauline, David, and Pauline and David. So and I was, I, thanks, Ian. I was just going to ask, um, with the proposed works that the Runanga wants to do, uh, how long is it going to take them to get everything in place to begin? Um, with where I'm coming from, is I wonder if we can give the batch owners longer than two years right. to move on. Um, they, they didn't give us a time frame, but they were basically saying that they're waiting on the removal of the batch before they can do their development. But we do have funds for our works for 2018. Yeah. 2018. So that, that's the reason for the two year timing. Okay, beginning or end of 2018? It's after June, is it? 18, 19? Yeah, a, a, yeah 18, 19. So we, yeah. Well, thank you. We could maybe push it out to three. We could push it out, to s they could get that third summer if we did our council works at the end of financial year 2018 or the end of the summer of 2018 after February or something. I was trying to give them a bit longer. I think two years is kind of really a short time. But that's... Yeah. Mm, no, we're in your hands. <coughs> I mean, in terms of the money being on budget for the um, 2018 financial year, mm. I mean, Pauline's right, it does run from the 1st of July through to the 30th of June, yeah, is yeah, it yeah. possible to, we to give them till the... You, you could give them till after after the summer of 1890. Yeah. Yeah. So the... Yeah, so the... Um, they'd have four summers left. Including this e one. End of February. Is mm. Oh, April? Well, that's autumn. Mm. Yeah. No, no. Well, I mean, yeah, okay. Well, by the end of March. March. <laughs> yeah, end of March yeah. 2019. Mm. Is that? Yeah. All right. So, um, Paul? Just a quick oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, David. Sure. David, Yanni, Paul. Um, look, I'm a little uncomfortable with um, this whole process. and. and I really want, an, want a sort of a, um, an answer to the issue of legal road, paper road. We have a number of um, instances of houses, batches or whatever mm. that are on legal road. All of the Taylor's Mistake batches in Rotten Row are on legal mm. slash paper road. We've got issues, I think Glenn's dealing with the Kaituna Valley where... Um, a number of houses are on a, on a paper road as well. Why are we singling this one out mm -hmm. when we are, uh, well, Taylor's Mistake, for example, we're, we're virtually approved that all of those houses on a paper road can stay. So I find it a little bit mm -hmm. um, rules for some, rules for others. Yeah. Any explanation here? The, and it, the, the other thing about Taylor's mistake is, I think some of those, there's the red zone issues in Taylor's mistake as well, Port Hill's red zone. Um, there's no there's no process policy to say all, all batches that were built in the 1940s will be removed. The only reason this, this is on the table is because the batch is partly on a Maori reserve. Um, Yep, and, and, and the Runanga have already done a lot of landscaping. Um, uh, they've already done a lot of work on the walkway and, uh, and on their pole carvings and things like that. So 
so they have development aspirations for for that land and so does council on the foreshore as well so um, as I said that's the reason why the report's in front of you how much of the property is Maori land and does the oh, it's on does the, the um, does the the building actually sit on any Maori land? Yeah, yes it does. Yeah, it's on, on the plan provided. Mm. <coughs> oh, that's the end of my questions. <coughs> Sorry, sidetracking. What um, I got sidetracked. Um, Yanni. I was just wondering how much money we actually have on budget in 2018-19 for the upgrade and also whether that's been reviewed as part of the capital program review. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not aware, I'm sorry I can't answer whether it's part of the capital program review. Um, we, we quote in here the price of the upgrade of the jetty, um, which is 170, is that correct? No, I'll find it now. Yeah. 170,000 for the jetty, and then there's another um, 30, 30 odd thousand. Uh, so, so there's around five oh, of the toilet as well. Um, in the in the part capital program with the landscaping picnic area around twenty five thousand replacement of the toilet. Yeah, that's the hundred and seventy. Oh, that's sorry, that's one hundred and seventy one for the re for the toilet. And then this is it. That's the jetty. <coughs> or is that the jetty? Total of over 200 in the in the current um, capital program. Right. So, okay. so I was just kind of wondering if, if we're going through a kind of prioritisation program, and we, you know, we, we've got we're working through that at the moment. How certain it is that this project would be considered a sort of top priority with all the other yeah. financial challenges that we had, and what the risk of it, of it mm. actually not being on budget because of that? I, I'm sorry, I can't answer. Okay. You know the priority. Um, and then just Brendan, did you want to comment on that? Uh, I'll just say it's not a project that we're explicitly looking at as part of the capital program with this. Right. Okay. Um, I think it would be good to understand the business case for it for, for over $200,000. Um, but just 5.14. So I uh, just wanted to understand what the nature of those discussions were with the batch owners and whether there was any consensus as to a, a, a way forward mm. and whether that they're aware that the report was mm. on the table today. Yes, they're aware the report um, was coming back to council. But today? And yes, yes. Um, it would be fair to say the owners are sadly resigned to the fact that the batch probably won't be able to stay there. Um, and um, it was the grandparents who, who originally were there. Um, it's the, uh, the children now. That's right, isn't it? The, hmm. Yeah, so there's been generations have used the, used the batch. Um, so, no, no one would be happy having to remove it. Paul? Just want to understand, first of all, obviously, you've said that generations have been there, so mm. the root owner obviously uh, they must have had some sort of agreement mm. with these owners for them to be there? Um, I, think, I think originally they, you know, they were probably there at the Grace because they did have a garden on the Maori Reserve land and that type of thing. Mm. But so the response from the Runanga was that we've been waiting a, a lot longer to um, do our development. And, um, yeah, so, so they, they have a position as well. Okay. Um, 
we have got some batches, as you know, uh, that are on paper roads, like mm. a pale of mistake. Now, just looking at this map, you can see the dotted line, is that, is that uh, where that dotted line is cutting to the back of the batch, the is that the part that's sitting on, that's on the Maryland? So, yeah. very little, so if, mm. if we were a mine to, we could actually, um, if we were a mine to let them stay on the paper road, we could mm. get them to move that slightly mm. forward and move their outhouse, and they'd be actually all on paper road. Mm. That's correct. Would that cause any issues? Well, yes, they, they're still in the road of the of, re their, of, of the, the reserve redevelopment. And the, the pathway. Yeah, yeah. Could, I mean, if the, mm. uh, the Runanga River mine and we're River mines have actually allowed them to move onto the paper road, mm. and they don't necessarily need to bring their pathway around that side, they could bring their pathway around the back, couldn't they? The, the Runanga's position was totally adamant. They want the batch removed. No ifs, no buts, no moving, no changing the real wall. So it they're, they're very clear in terms of their, um, what, what so they're requiring. So they've changed the position yeah. from the generations to this generation where they just want this batch removed. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're now yeah, in a rebuild, redevelop their area. Very, very much. Even if it was on <coughs> our legal road, they still want it removed. Yes. So it's our road. Mm. Mm. But, but they are looking <coughs> to council to make the substantive decision. I, I just, the part that worries me is we've made uh, other areas are allowed to stay on our paper roads and mm. this one we're not. Mm. That's, that's just a consistency issue, I think uh, mm. Councillor East pointed out. I have an issue with that as well. <coughs> and it seems to me that the Runanga could get on and do their development if they were a mind to. Mm. And if we were a mind to leave the batch or let it allow, allow it to move by the look of things mm. only a few feet into mm. uh, our paper road. Mm. Jamie? Yeah, this is a tricky issue. Um, I read in the report that the, the batch was purchased in 1939. Who did that transaction uh, occur between? So who, who was paid for the batch in 1939? I, well, I imagine the... So the Beecroft Stewart family purchased the batch in 1939 from a previous owner who would have built it there. Okay. In, in a... And in those days, people did things like this. So know. did they get a title for that? <coughs> no, when that no, they never had. So they paid money title. for something, but nothing, no paper no to paper, ever go with No that. title. So where does existing use rights leave this mm. issue? Is um, well, it really it's the Local Government Act that states that you can't have habitable buildings on a legal road. But we do, though. So how does that mm. work? So and I guarantee that the Christchurch City Council isn't the only one with batches on. Oh no, the wood, the, that's, that's correct. That's correct. Um, so there's there's no um, in terms of previous use rights and that type of thing. They're effectively extinguished or irrelevant. They are. Mm. So this doesn't. I don't feel like we're doing the right thing here. That there's something just doesn't sit comfortably with me. I'm, I'm ready to vote. <coughs> Oh, I've got um, Tim. Are the local community putting anything towards what council is doing in this area? Because as I see it, it's business as usual. Um, well, as, as indicated on the uh, photographs, yep. there's, there's a lot of work being done on the Marae and by the local Runanga, yes. So the yeah. answer is yes. Well, it's, it's, so, but it's their land. So if a developer's doing a lot of land, it's irrelevant who it is. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we have to. Does it? So, uh, well, for instance, we're doing a lot of development mm. uh, on our property. Mm. We were given a report some time ago on the 
um, Piers, etc., and, and a wharf, sorry, around Banks Peninsula. And one of the ways that we were trying to solve that financial problem was seeing if these communities would come dollar for dollar or something to do up these wharves. Mm. We had Robinson's Bay Church Bay, a number of other areas that said yes, they're on board, and that was a great way to go forward. Has this community done the same? Or is it all I'm, ours? I'm sorry, I can't answer. I, I just don't know. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, just um, Jane oh, wanted to say a few words. Well, I just wanted to um, clarify, Councillor East made the point about Taylor's Mistake Batches, but we are actually and have been for some years in discussions with the Residents Association over there about the issue that they're on a paper road. So that their note being that, that, that there, there is a process underway and we can provide a briefing on that um, separately. Um, you can see that, that I mean, the, 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 the council is finding it very difficult to, mm. to deal with the issue mm. because um, obviously um, the community board, you know, ha has um, considered the issue, but mm. uh, only a small number of the community board are able to vote on it because yeah. there's, um, I think, three conflicts of interest. So mm. that reduces the numbers who can... Um, vote on it, and which is why, probably, in, you know, in a situation like this, you'd want the community board to be making the decision, but in a way they almost can't because of the the, the numbers who can actually vote, um, which makes it hugely, hugely challenging. And I mean, I, I know that we said this at the time when we let it lie on the table. Um, we allowed it to, um, you know. We, we found it very difficult because you have two competing interests, one of which is, is dependent on us mm. committing to expending money, which actually really came up as a result of um, decisions that date back to before the earthquakes. Mm. And mm. we haven't reviewed that um, process since the earthquakes. Is this um, up there as far as priority goes mm -hmm. in a post-disaster environment. Mm -hmm. and, and because we haven't done it, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't do it now. This is exactly the situation that we got in with the, um, you know, with the, um, the wastewater at, at um, Wainui, mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, you know, and it, 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 as unfortunate as it sounds, but the truth is, is that we have been through an earthquake sequence. We are obliged to look at all of our um, works programs and whether they are suitable in a post-disaster environment in terms of a priority. So I guess what some councillors are asking is are there other mechanisms for funding this development that we haven't considered? And in some instances, local communities have been asked to contribute. And I presume that with the development, there will be some development levies attached to, to that. But development contributions, mm. um, but I don't know, because I don't know whether the rules are, are different for different types of development. Um, and that report seems to be um, silent on that matter. So, um, you know, I've, I sort of feel like it's, a, it's in, a, in a difficult position. Um, do we actually have to make the decision today is the question that I want to now ask. and and. Could we, could we refer this to the first meeting of the next council, mm. um, the first meeting next year, mm. the first council meeting next year? Um, and, and if you could come back to us with just some additional information about um, the, the process of engagement um, post it lying on the table last time, and a, 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 um, some more information about the the costs and the and the priority that might attach to the work that we've already agreed to do in terms of the the spend in that area, because it may well be that we can give them a little bit more time um, than than what we're proposing, not in any way to stand in the way of the work that um, the Runanga uh, want to do, as a, as is their right on their land, um, but in a way that that we can sequence work um, in, a, in a way that might be a little bit more collaborative and, um, you know, sort of understanding of the circumstances. I, I know that's not an ideal situation, but 
I'm just thinking that we're, we're not going to get to a conclusion today. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know why the Runanga can't begin their work anyway. I mean, if we yeah, voted, that's to leave what the, I mean. if we voted to leave the batch there, they would have no choice but to find a way to do their development with it there. Well, so it, it's on their land as well, so... Well, if the vet trying to chop that bit off, it wouldn't be. Yeah, I know, but, but it's not... It, 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 it probably isn't that simple, otherwise it would have been that simple. So um, I'd, just, I'd just rather let, let it lie for another, yep, another month. That's good. Uh, unless people want to put it to a vote now, and... Um, I think there are some questions. I mean, I've got some questions why we're spending this money because th this group's doing a development... That's right. And Is it a priority? We've talked yeah. and we had a report about you know, communities, <laughs> and some communities jumped at the chance of putting yeah. in fifth dollar. You know, uh, and uh, uh, we've been business, business as usual. So, so I mean, are we funding the other jetties or not? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. I don't well, think we are. Right? I think we need a follow up on that. Because, yeah. 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 It's not, it's yeah. not fair. And yeah. also, what? So, who benefits from this? What's the size of the numbers of the community yeah. here that benefits from this? I, th I think it might be best, Madam Chair, that we. Workshop this in yeah. the in the new year. Yeah. That would be is that a, is that yep. better? Because that then we be can better. discuss all these issues yeah. about community input. Because it is a it we is a community. We bring the non-conflicted members of the community board into yes. the workshop yeah. as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. Is that, does that yeah. sound good? That, that sounds great. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you. It's um it, it's certainly not a reflection on the um, work that staff have done. We really appreciate how challenging and difficult these issues are. Thank you. Um, have we done the...